Today I'm going to show you how to correctly mix the Aeromarine 321 epoxy resin. I have a few different mixing containers just to show you a variety of what can be used. You want to use a plastic mixing container. It doesn't necessarily uh, matter which kind. I have smaller cups that are extremely common that I've pre-marked with Sharpie marks so that I can see how much of each product is going into it. I've got a little bit more of a durable cup that I've marked on the inside with marks because you can't see on the outside of it. And then I've got cups that we bought at a home supply store that have the markings on them already. Any of these would work very well to mix the epoxy in. And I just have a regular wood stick to help me mix it. So the way that we mix the 321 epoxy resin is we take two parts of the 300, we pour it, we measure it out into one cup. We take one part of the 21 and measure it into a separate cup. We're going to take a third clean cup. We're going to pour the 300 into that cup. We're going to pour the 21 in next. We measured the 321 in different cups to make sure that we had the correct amount for the 2 to 1 mix ratio. We poured them into a third clean container so that the waste in these cups is equal and the mix ratio when you mix your resin is not off. So now we have two parts of 300 and one part of 21 in this mix container. We're going to mix it for about two minutes. We're going to do circles, figure eights. We're going to scrape the sides. The entire time you're going to keep your mixing stick on the bottom of the container. The reason that you do this is um, it helps mix the unmixed epoxy on the bottom, but it also helps prevent whipping air bubbles into your mix. And when it's been about two minutes, you're going to take a fourth container. You're going to pour the mixed epoxy from this first mixing container into the fourth clean cup that we're going to mix it in for about two more minutes. The reason we want to use this fourth cup is so that any unmixed epoxy that is on the sides of this cup does not get into the project that we're making. Uh, having unmixed epoxy on our project could cause soft spots in the epoxy or defects in the surface. This is a technical data sheet. With every product that you buy from Aeromarine products, you're going to receive one in the box. It has things like specifications and mixing instructions like the double mix and pour method. You should always read the technical data sheet before you start mixing your product. If you have any questions after reading the technical data sheet, please call us at our toll free number. You can get our 321 epoxy resin at aeromarineproducts.com. Now you know the correct way to do what we call the double mix and pour method for our epoxy resin.